right, it's raining outside today, so I like to stay productive. And we have not sealed our uh, porch yet, the deck, the wood. It uh, requires a sealer uh, to keep the rain from penetrating it to make it last a little bit longer. Ours is under roof, but it still does get wet from the wind blowing. So I'm gonna pressure wash the deck. And just to get all the dust and the debris out, and then we're gonna go back through probably tomorrow and start sealing it. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna seal it by uh, using a sprayer, a pump sprayer, and we'll see, uh, see how it all works out. We calculated the square footage. It's roughly 1,700 square foot of wraparound porch. So, which is cool, but that is a lot to maintain. And uh, hopefully over time I get the hang of it and this ain't so bad, so. we Oh yeah, we should have done this a long time ago. We waited too long, so stains have developed and uh, that's just kind of the way it, it is. The worst stains, honestly, are from flower pots and they're right there, right here and up there. And I've already tried to get them out they're staying for good it was all that uh, fertilizer so we're gonna get other pots without holes in it and uh, we're gonna place them back over top of this once I seal everything up with the pressure washing on the decking James got pretty much from the door down to this side finished and then everything on this side of the porch so now we just need to do the back side which is a big section and then over on the other side by the garage Good job, babe. So what we're doing right now is back here on the back of the house. Everything that's back here and he's already started needs to come out so we can clean it. So we're just moving everything around. First thing he's gonna do is he's got his leaf blower. He's gonna blow all the dust and everything off of it. And then he pressure washes it. Yeah. Screws? There's some screws there and there. Oh yeah. This is from Levi. This kid loves finding screws and playing with them, and then he leaves them all over the place. This whole part of the porch now, from here and back, is done. James got it finished, so now we just have to wait for this to dry. Then we'll pressure wash the rest of the porch, and then we'll stain it. Poor little man in the carrier's got the hiccups. James is prepping and getting ready to stain the deck. Well, we're not staining the deck, we're sealing just it. sealing it. Yes. But we're this gonna is going to try to use this tank sprayer. We're just going to fill it with sealer and spray the deck, and hopefully all goes well. The instructions say that we have to brush behind it, but I was hoping not to do that because we have so much deck, it's gonna, it would take us a long time. It's a little windy out, but we're gonna try to take care of it anyway. And hopefully uh, we don't have to stop. This is the sealer that we bought. It's Cabot and it's clear. We really wanted to do a stained sealer on the wood, but there's so much foot traffic on our deck that if we did a stained sealer, when it would chip off, I'd have to touch it up a lot. So we decided to do clear. That way, if it chips off some, you won't be able to tell a difference. Okay. And this sealer is extremely expensive. It's $200 for one five-gallon bucket. But from all the research we did, this is definitely the best option. even yeah let's do it we might have to smooth it out though this is putting it in too big a block for our drops okay it is kind of blotchy i think i'll have to go back behind it with a paintbrush you might have to just roll it up okay 
Aha. So, but I am the combat railing on accident. Okay. This is definitely something we're gonna have to do together. I am gonna have to wipe behind. So this is gonna be a two man job. We thought maybe it was just gonna be James, but I'll put the baby in the carrier and we'll get it done. So this part of the deck here is actually done. Now we're moving on to do what's close to the house and we don't want to get any of this stuff on the stone of the house because it'll change the color of it a little bit. This section's all the way done. That actually isn't that bad. It took us less than 20 minutes. Um, James, where are we gonna start next? Start on the other side, work our way around to the front door. Okay. And this right here is pretty important. You don't actually want to roll the stain off. So James put tape on this. All you wanna do is pretty much absorb the puddles because you don't want there to be puddles. So if you look closely, you can tell the roller doesn't actually spin. You just wanna kinda wipe it lightly like this to get off any excess. Looks good. There's already some dust on here from where we cleaned it yesterday, so James is going to blow it off real quick before we move this way. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. This section's done. Now we're taking a break before we go all the way down. Whoopsies. <gasps> all the way down this end of the house. Check this out. He actually got the whole side of the house done while I was gone. Everything over there. And he's coming around the corner. Babe? Yep. That was pretty fast for you doing it by yourself. Yeah. Not too shabby. So it took half of a jug to do one side? Pretty much, yeah. Because that was full when I left. We should make it to the steps. I just need to... Okay. Can you fix the roller? What's wrong with it? Yeah, it just keeps rolling on us. Yeah, I'll go tape it tighter. Tape it up or something. Dang, you're getting really fast at this. I went in to put the baby in the carrier. I came back out and halfway done with the front of the porch. He's speedy, but here's a little nugget. Let's help daddy. And it's done. Well, this part at least. We got this front of the house done. We also got the steps finished. Now James is over here cleaning all the equipment that we were using. And then to finish the rest of the porch, we still have to stain everything on this side of the porch behind me and then the other half of this front part of the porch and then just a little bit along the back side there and then it's actually done. So we just need to pressure wash this side though before we can stain it because we only pressure washed half the deck so that it can dry and we can walk on it before we do the other half. Otherwise we won't have a way in and out of our house. So we're finished for today and we will resume tomorrow. I hear the leaf blower going outside. Must oh wow, it's much nicer outside now than it was earlier. Were you blowing the leaf blower? Yep. Were you prepping this side for the sealer? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we got so much cleaning to do. Look how dirty this wood is with mud and just. This has to all be scrubbed by hand. Seriously? That stuff right there. Oh yeah, I know that. My pressure washer will get it off. Yeah, yeah, this is just, from where I we like did just... grout or um, we cut tile pieces out here. That's the remnants that the tile cutter threw up against the house. We'll get it off. That guy literally does not know how to not work. He sat in our house for like 10 minutes and he was like, I'm bored. I was like, you're bored? Sit here and relax. And he was like, no, I need to be doing something. So I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but he's outside pressure washing the rest of the deck. So I guess I'm gonna go out there and help him. Dave 
what happened. Well, we sprung a leak on the uh, pressure washer, so I'm going to go to Lowe's and get a new hose, and we're going to pick up the rest of the sealer that we need while I'm there. So. Oh, Eddie was literally almost done. I'll show you over there. So I'm back here on the back of the porch, and he got this done. So this is where he was earlier. He got the whole side of the house finished, came around the corner here, got this done, and all he has left literally is like 15 feet. Just this right here, because that's where he finished staining. So all he has left is this little section, and the hose broke. So he's running to Lowe's to try to get this finished tonight so that we can stain tomorrow. He made it back, and the time yeah. is 8.01 p.m. Not bad. He's gonna go hook his new hose up. Let's see it. Yep. Are those expensive? 55 bucks. Oh gosh. All right, I got the pressure washing finished last night, so we're gonna start sealing it today. Hopefully you get it sealed and let it sit for an hour so the kids can get off here and maybe jump on their trampoline and whatnot, so. He's a sealing. woke up so I've got him out here with me with his little hat on and we're gonna try to get this finished James did get everything back here done so now we're gonna head around to the front so this is all that's left the rest of the front here going that way and then coming around on this side to where you can see where it's wet just that and I'll show you this too here at the front the stain doesn't add color, but it does kind of enhance the wood a little bit. You can see a difference for sure in what is sealed and what is not sealed, even though there's actually no stain in it. with the top now we just gotta do all the sides but gotta pressure wash it first we'll wait till this dries pretty good it looks great i am really surprised at how easy this actually was i was worried sick about staining and sealing the whole deck because i thought that it would take weeks because this i've whole half of the deck only took us 35 minutes that's pretty incredible so the way for sure to go is to use a sprayer and then just roll behind to smooth it all Don't out roll it well, rub you it in. Roll it. You just want to rub it in. You yeah. Can buy, you can buy special them. pads, but you can just tie a roller up with tape and just, just push it in. And those are really cheap rollers, too. We didn't buy anything fancy. Yes, done. Something checked off the list. So to complete this project, that thing right there, we had to fill up how many times? Two and a half. Which is how many gallons, roughly? About seven. About seven and gallons. And that is for 1,700 square foot of decking.